Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them read. Let's see how you're feeling now uh, Capricorn, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Capricorn, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Capricorn newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Capricorn, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck nine of pentacles yeah somebody's saying yeah you know what i've made up my mind i've made my decision this is over i'd rather be single uh, from what i'm sensing there is somebody here who's trying to be the best they can be take responsibility or you know they want to be seen as somebody who's in control of their life but somewhere they feel they're failing they feel each time uh, they become the loser for some reason they feel that person is upset with them angry with them or uh, they can't get this back together there's a lack of structure in this connection or a lack of commitment now the other person feels that their person is immature immature maybe there's gossip or rumors or um, i don't know what this person b feels i have to make a choice now i have to make a choice i have to manifest separately for myself maybe i don't know I'm, I'm going to check on this to see what this person is manifesting but um, first let's do your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be then i'm going to clarify these capricorn and that person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be capricorn and that person capricorn and that person spirit Capricorn and that person. All right, let's take a few more Capricorn from another deck. Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person. Spirit. Just a few more Capricorn from a third deck as well, and then we start the reading. Capricorn and that person. All right, good to go Capricorn. Let's start the reading and um, if any of you are looking for personal readings, uh, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. The first card says, let's talk and clear the air. I see my future with you. I feel so much passion for you. I haven't been happy for a long time. It hurts me to say we should go our separate ways. I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. I had put you on a pedestal and made myself small. I see you in my dreams wishing it was a reality losing hope in this connection i feared you were more obsessed with me rather than in love it felt suffocating sometimes i pray for you all the time and i do healing work on your behalf i do talk about you I believe we are meant to be together. Your sexy body has me drooling. I want to impress you. See, that's what I was feeling. Somebody wants to impress that person by saying, look at me, I'm in control of my life. And But somewhere they feel they're failing at that. Just say something to me. I want to make things right. 
all right so scorpio um scorpio i'm saying capricorn these are some of your messages if these were resonating with your storyline let's start the reading but first an angel blessing card for you let's see what my angels are going to bless my capricorn with blessing guidance advice or just a message for capricorn heaven is watching over you getting a kiss from the angels capricorn today <laughs> Uh, be in gratitude you're totally protected you're taken care of the angels are around you surrounding you and heavens are watching over you that's your message for today all right so now let's get on with the reading and uh, newcomers please don't get confused okay i don't know which side you're on there's no man here woman there of course what side could be your love interest your spouse could also be your parent could be your child could be a sibling partner business partner um, whoever somebody who's affecting your energy at this point and with these dialogue message cards i'm sure some of you have already picked up who i'm talking about for you so now let's focus only on one side which is person a for me so person a uh, emperor what's the what's the emperor in your emotions emperor i think person a has secretly secretly been in love with person b all this while maybe they never said it they never emoted uh, they could have run away from their feelings but uh, they do want to talk they do want to talk they want to you know start communicating maybe what what this emperor truly wants is now to take control or do the right thing they want to offer a partnership this person wants to take action now they want to take action but i think there's a little bit of anxiety stress tension because they don't want things to kind of backfire on them or to feel like a loser or have their person see them as a, you know a loser no, it this connection means a lot to person a they see the other person as their perfect mate their soul mate their partner but they are a bit scared to offer that because they feel that person has probably their guard up right um it'll be a bit defensive towards them uh, heart of hearts person a just wants to rush towards person b and ask them hey can we just start from scratch it'll make make me feel so happy it'll make all my dreams and wishes come true but they are keeping silent only because they don't want to look maybe like a loser in front of the other person why do you feel this way person a hierophant in reverse they want to have they want to take a leap of faith in this di other direction maybe have a brand new beginning but uh, they're keeping themselves in hermit mode i think this person has figured out that they do want a uh, uh, you know a new beginning but they are waiting and watching the other person because they feel either some commitment has already gone under in the past or maybe they feel that person is still upset and angry with them uh, maybe the offer will not be accepted or something uh, queen of wands in reverse yeah they feel kind of they they stopping themselves this person doesn't know which what decision what choice will be made should i speak to them should i not is it the right time uh, are they still upset and angry with me maybe i should wait for the right time uh, there's a lot of thinking stress tension sleepless nights nightmares feeling abandoned feeling left out in the cold maybe spying and watching the other person become single and beautiful and independent and you know getting a lot of attention and victory from others which actually person a wants person a is the one who wants the victory they want to come back and prove to th their person that hey look look at me now look at me i'm ready i'm ready to take uh, responsibility i want to they want to communicate they want i think this person has been waiting for the right time to go and offer their love or but there's a bit of anxiety here as to maybe the other person is upset with them over something i don't know uh person a tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection see ace of uh, pentacles in reverse person a doesn't know whether their offer will be accepted whether that person even still loves them or not so ace of pentacles ace of pentacles 
person A says, I love them. I love them, but I'm at crossroads right now because the person who I want to go towards, who I love very much, um, I think has withdrawn their love from me or has a lid on that cup of love, the one that they were giving freely to me, they may not. Things have been stagnant between us for a long time, Omkara Taro. I've been stuck here, I've been trying to gather up my courage, I've taken time to reflect on everything, but heart of hearts, I do want to try again. I want to transform this connection. Person A feels what if something bad did happen between the two of you, they have a lot of regret, they have a lot of sorrow, they have sadness and they've come to that clarity now and they do want to talk about it except they are a little worried that the other person has their boundaries up now boundaries up maybe doesn't love them anymore or something uh, queen of cups in reverse why do you see them as the queen of cups in reverse because of some tower that happened already or they're expecting another tower to happen if they go and offer something the the thought of facing person B or communicating I think gives this person a lot of stress, anxiety and overthinking and I can't see what to do, where should I go. Mm. This person is blocked. They are blocked because they feel that person is either doesn't love them, will not accept them or is upset with them. Okay, so what action person A will finally take, I will open later Capricorn. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B in your feelings, I see a knight of wands in reverse. What's that? Person B says, I'm healing from them. They were just a player. They just created a lot of drama in my life, Omkara Taro. I'm healing myself. I'm trying to be happy in my own life. I'm trying to move on. I'm single. I'm independent. I'm focusing on my own life. And this was the overall energy, right? This was the overall energy for the reading today. So person A's, uh, B is the one who's now single or at least trying to focus on just moving on or I don't want to deal with the player kind of an energy. Um, page of uh, swords in reverse. Yeah, person B says, I am taking back power, I am taking back control. Maybe person B feels that they heard through gossip or rumors or something that their person was uh, still, you know, in addictions or toxic or, you know, chasing stuff that they shouldn't, maybe had other options. Uh, so, person B says, yeah, I am done with them. At one time, I did see them as my mm, wish or my happiness, but now I would rather focus on myself. So, person B, why do you feel this way? Two swords in reverse. Person B says, I was stuck for a very long time. It's like I felt like an option in their life. Uh, there was a blocked energy between us. But now I'm making my own choices. I'm making a choice, Omkara Taro. I want to move on now. I want to move away from here, it was a place where I was not emotionally, un, uh, uh, I was never emotionally happy here and I am manifesting now. What are you manifesting? A passionate brand new beginning. Person B says, I would rather manifest a, a passionate brand new beginning for, for me uh, because uh, I do not want, uh, I want to bring back the justice and balance that I deserve in my life instead of dealing with a toxic energy who f kept fighting with me, arguing with me, um, kept me as an option or had other options, kept me in confusion. I just want to balance my life out in a way that I can find happiness once again. Okay, person B, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A and how do you feel about the connection? Tower. What's the tower? According to you, it's there was no firm foundation, so it's over. Yeah, person B says, yes, there was nothing to grow upon. It was built on sand. Whatever was between us, it just crumbled one day and now I'm, I'm going to get unstuck from this. I don't think there's any rebuilding here. I'm trying to, I think, just listen to my intuition now and uh, guard my own energy and just k take my power back or, you know, just kind of be sensible about life and I don't trust them. 
I don't trust them. I got to know something and I'm after which which really stressed me for a little while. But I'm cutting away. I'm cutting away anything that gave me any anxiety or stress and I'm moving on. I'm moving on to new beginnings. I'm moving on to maybe finding new love. Uh, according to person B, person A just kept too many secrets or they just played too many games. So that's the reason I think person B is trying to now move away, like move on towards maybe new beginnings. It's like, yeah, I'd rather, you know, clear away the past and move on. Go into self-love, new love, whatever. So let's see what actions you guys will take. I will take another deck for this one, Capricorn. And while I shuffle these cards, may I request you, if this storyline was resonating, if you could just tap on the like button. Uh, thank you. Uh, and newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, subscribe, share the channel and join us. We welcome you in. Person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, person A feels as much as I try, things are still going backwards. Things are still in troubled waters. Why? How is that an action? Queen of Wands, Strength card, Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I think person A does want to move forward but they have a lot of baggage from the past. This person is trying very hard, but they are still bogged down by whatever happened in the past. They are looking at the other person as very successful, very charming, very good looking, but also very strong and following their own passions. person is feeling a little abandoned. They sit in abandonment, sadness, sorrow and uh, feel that I don't know how to turn this boat around Omkara Taro. How do I move towards happiness and peace? So I don't think this person is really doing anything. They think they are moving forward but because of the baggage and, and the silence I guess. Oh, Yeah, see this is, this, is, this is it. They want to talk. They want to talk, they want to offer the other person everything. I, let's have a stable brand new beginning, I'll offer you my full heart. They, but they are expecting a no. They expect the other person to say, uh -uh, Namaste, I'm not interested. And because there's silence between the two of you. So person B, tell me action from your end towards person A or otherwise. <coughs> Knight of Swords. Person B says they are, even if they come rushing towards me, it's going to be immature Om Karataro. It maybe it will just end up in another argument or another fight. What's the point? Knight of Swords. Action. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Magician. Five of Wands, Devil. Nine of Swords. Yeah, person B is, I think, a little afraid. They are afraid that if they, if person A comes back, it is going to end up in another argument, another fight, some more toxic behavior. They will have to go back into stress and anxiety. And Right now, I think person B is at a standstill as well, uh, trying to make their own dreams and wishes come true or focus on manifesting good stuff for themselves. Somewhere person B says, let me just be single right now and let me focus on myself because if they come back I know it's going to lead to that and person A is trying but they are not being able to figure out a way to prove to the other person that they have changed or that's what I have for you Capricorn till next time then love and light take care namaste